and again welcome to extreme automation uh, in the last video we have seen how to uh, write some web based test cases and robot framework so now i am commenting that uh, piece of code i am just keeping one line for opening browser and i have also created some more test cases uh, in this uh, test suite uh, i am actually going to run these uh, test cases through command line so that's why i do not want to waste time in executing all the steps so i have commented out all the steps i have kept one step only in the second test case i have kept log let's say my name and third test case i am logging something that this is third test case i am clearing all the previous reports and you can see this in in this folder we have only that test suit file so we go to command prompt you see that the test suit name is ts1 and i am on that folder only here in uh, you can say command prompt so we have a executor named as robot so just type robot and then space name of test suit you will see that it will execute the first test case which was just to open the browser then second test case which will be logging my name and then the third test case which will be logging that this is the third test case we will see that here in the report tc1 tc2 tc3 all three are executed all three are passed zero failed and you have you also see there are three links given one is output log and report you can see everything was commented here we have three reports now we go to that folder again and we open our log file so you can see expand the report here the report uh, framework has very beautiful report very well documented and very detailed report step by step everything is given and you can see all the three test cases executed right we delete again the previous report to see more features of this robot executor so now if i do robot minus minus help i will get to know about what all things i have with uh, this particular uh, executor right so you can also run this uh, your test cases using python minus m and then robot and then your name of uh, test suit and these all are the options which are uh, which you can provide uh, to perform it in a different way for example minus t or minus minus test case stands for if you just want to run one of the test case of your test suit so let us see how we use it so one by one i'll be taking some example for now i am just taking the output of this help file on let's say one of the text files so that i can refer that in future rather than i need to keep this window open so i have everything now in a text file so i have redirected the output of that help to a text file so you can see now how we use it so for that type robot minus t or maybe minus minus test case and then specify the name of the test case which you want to run and then the file name where you have that test case you see that only tc2 was executed and its status is pass you can also check in the report So it must be mentioning that there is one test case which was executed and this is how you can control the execution specifically if you want to execute with the name of the test case alternatively you can also use minus minus test again it will behave in the same way So next we're gonna talk about uh, if we see here I add another test suit so we have test two test suits one is TS1 the other one is TS2 and here I create another test case let's say it is TC4 1 2 and 3 were in the previous test suit and I log something that this is my fourth test case okay so in that robot uh, directory i had um, three test cases earlier and one test case again so now it is uh, giving some error so let us again reload so it should now again uh, reflect because it is not currently showing me six test cases but it has only three so i need to reload the project so that it refreshes so i have reloaded the project and now you can see that we have three test cases in test suit one and one test case in test suit 2. 
Now let us move back to the command prompt window and let us run uh, um, let's say type something like robot minus name minus minus name ts2 dot robot or uh, let us do one thing first robot ts2 dot ro uh, dot robot so i am executing uh, test 2 okay let us open the report i just want to show you something so in the log file if you check the name of the test suit full name it is given as ts2 which is the default name of the file okay now let's say you want to change the name to something else make you want to make it something relevant so robot minus n or maybe minus minus name and in double quotes you specify the name that you want to give it to okay and then give the name of the file if you open the report again this time you will see that full name is what you have specified explicitly all right so we have covered this command so the next one is robot minus d all right and here in double quotes i specify a documentation so d stands for documentation and i write something like this is the documentation of the test we are executing make sure you send uh, the report to developer let's say this is my um, documentation that i want to type okay now open the report Here we do not see any documentation. I refresh the report. The new one has a documentation. So by default, it does not give you the documentation, but you can add it like this. So obviously when you will be running your test cases, you won't be typing all these things over and again, but you will be having some set of commands. You will be running your test cases through Jenkins. So you, know, you will be writing it once and every time you will be seeing these messages in documentation or maybe the name. Next one is very important here. If you see here, we have minus minus include or maybe minus i and minus minus exclude and minus e. So for that, we go to robot test case and we give tags to our test cases. So tags are not, uh, like uh, you can say groups. So we divide our test cases in groups. So for example, I keep some test cases and give the name as sanity. For some test case, I give the name as regression. And so let's say I want to run only the sanity test cases. So for that, I can include or exclude the groups. So robot minus minus include and give the name of the group or the tag and then the name of the test suit file ts1.robot. If you specify dot here instead, that instead of ts1.robot, it will in cover all the files in that folder so it will execute ts1.robot as well as ts2.robot so important thing to see here is you can see here in T ts1 tc1 test case 1 is executed only because it has the tag sanity other test cases did not have that, that tag All right, so if I try on T, uh, you can say TS2, okay. So here you can see in test suit one, TC1 is executed and in test suit two, TC4 is executed. So the next one is exclude exclude also works in similar way you let's say you want to ignore only the sanitary test cases so robot instead of minus minus include you will say minus minus exclude and in sanity i specified dot here so in current directory it will execute all the suit files so ts1 it executes test case 2 and 3 and test it 2 file we do not have any test case which has which do not have sanity as a tag name. So it will not execute any test case. 
so also we have another um, option minus minus rerun failed so for that uh, I will do one thing that in test case 3 I specifically mention a unknown keyword let's say error which is not a keyword so my test case is gonna fail here at this step definitely so when I run my test suit robot ts1 dot robot first test will, will run fine ts2 will run fine T, T, uh, you can say tc3 will fail so in ts1 tc test case 1 T, test case 2 and test case 3 are there test case 1 and 2 are fine 3 is fail okay because i have added a keyword which is not known to robot framework so now we have a option where we can run our failed test cases only so this is very important sometimes we want to run our failed test cases so for that robot minus minus rerun failed and give the output xml instead of the test suit file you need to give the output xml where it is going to find what all failed test cases are there in that file and it will be rerunning them okay after that you need to specify the test case file name also test suit file name also so you can say that again it got it got an error because obviously the test case was not fine sometimes it happened that when we rerun test cases pass so for that this option is uh, really important so we also have some other options you can see here like minus minus output directory now you see that all the output files log file output file and report file are coming here in the same directory i want them to uh, get copied in a different directory you can say i create a folder results and i want those to be copied here only so i created a folder for that so i can explicitly mention it here robot minus minus output directory and then here you can give the path name you just need to mention the folder name which is results even you do not need this uh, uh, slash so you can remove this and then um, you can say ts1 dot or 2 dot robot so your results will go here in results directory now you can also check here no file is copied here all the reports are getting generated in the new folder so this is also very useful so you can try out other options of this uh, through this documentation and uh, stay connected to extreme automation to learn more such tips we'll be um, seeing in next tutorials how to integrate this with jenkins so by jenkins we'll be running our test cases of robot directly stay connected and please subscribe to our channel Thank you.